Hello, good evening, and thank you very much for joining me and for joining us here at TV Bakwetu. Uh, my name is Elias Munsha, and I am coming to you live from Calgary, Alberta, from our offices here at TV Bakwetu and Munsha Law. We share offices. So three things share offices here. Me, uh, TV Bakwetu and Monsha Law Offices, which is a law firm that we run over here. Today is Friday, and so we thought, why not come live? Because it's Friday. You're having a good time probably somewhere there in Lusaka or Chuempala or whatever it is. And so we want to also be part of the fun. So me and Mr. Norman Chipakupaku decided, why not have a great Friday show and join thousands of our friends or hundreds of our friends so that we can have fun together. So that Tabale Nuabeka, you know, we are there as well, taking tea <laughs> while some of you are drinking beer or whatever it is that you drink. Anyway, here is uh, uh, Mr. Norman Chipakupaku, also known as General. And so, General, we need to give people the opportunity to share this link as much as much as possible and um, uh, to share it so that they can invite several other friends because we have a great show tonight, don't we? Oh, yes. Uh, good evening, Chiwempala, and good evening, Zambia. Good evening to our viewers all over the world. Friday, the 21st of May, coming live from Scotland. Uh, Bonnie Scotland, uh, they call it um, Bonnie Scotland because it's beautiful, but today it has been miserable. We call it a Drich, Drich Friday, which means it's a very cold and miserable Friday, but all the same, I'm here. Okay, so why are you in a necktie on a Friday night? Well, I wanted to be in a necktie so that I look presentable because uh, Rakwe 2 is becoming 144,000 followers, so I must respect that number. I must respect that number. So, so, so if you are in a, in running gear like me, Nishi, you are not respecting the one forty four thousand. I I know that you've got your routine. Uh, our viewers should remember that is is your lunch hour this time in in, right. in Canada. It's evening for me, so I can uh, today I, I I finished at five and I was able to dress up so that I can respect the hundred and forty four thousand. Right, so so this um, channel here, uh, so so the Elias Musha channel has one forty four thousand, and it's religiously very significant. General, are, are you a man of religion? First of all, because uh, I shouldn't take it for granted. I am I am a Christian Musha. I belong to the Church of Scotland here, which we call the United Church of Zambia in, in, in Zambia. All I right. am a believer. I have been to. Um, Jerusalem, I've been to Bethlehem to actually see the whole story of Christ. So, yes, I am. All right. Christian. Um, so, so, so there is a church in Zambia. Uh, you know it, of course. But Tawala, they believe that if you are one for all, oh, 144,000. 144,000 means those are the people. 144,000. So all the 144,000 likers on, on, <laughs> on our page. You qualify. Anyway, General, where should we start tonight? Well, Musha, first of all, I'm sorry that I couldn't make it yesterday. I saw a lot of complaints uh, on the on the uh, from people. That, uh, that they, 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 some of them said the general has gone a wall, which is absent without leave. No, I was busy. I was very, very busy. But Musha, you had a fantastic show yesterday. I, I watched it. I think I said it uh, that you were going to have a petition. I gave you that warning. I gave the nation that warning. And that petition, we, have, we are having three petitions, not two. I can announce tonight that there's another petition by Dr. Sishua Sishua, which is going into the Concord. So we have three petitions. And I can also announce that there might be something happening tomorrow. I will announce it later on, Musha. So, yes, here we are. Article 52, which um, 
which given Rubinda was trying to hide behind Bill 10, that's the Article 52, which uh, Sishua Sishua and uh, the, uh, uh, the foundation being represented by uh, State Council John Sangwa are using. Is their right, is that constitutional right to petition because Mr. Lunga had filed? So they, they are petitioning him using that constitutional right under Article 52. Right. So uh, for me, I have no comments, General, because I have commented on this issue enough. So I'll let you, I'll let you have, have free say. You go ahead, go ahead and uh, justify the petitions. Musha, I'm not justifying the petition. I'm just saying it's constitutional. Right. I'm not a lawyer. You are the lawyer, remember. But uh -huh. my argument is this. When they wanted to, 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 to force Bill, Bill 10 uh, you know, to the Zambian people, they were trying to scrap Article 52 of the Constitution. They were talking about the women and the young, young people and everybody else and all the good things. The biggest thing they were trying to scrap, which I argued and I argued and I told um, given Lubinda in a public, prime TV, public te uh, television, that why can't you tell Zambians that you are trying to scrap Article 52? To the Zambians, Article 52 in the, in the new amended 2016 constitution allows every Zambian to go to concord and petition a presidential candidate, a parliamentary candidate, or any other candidate to say they have not, they don't qualify. It gives you the that's right. So yeah. they were trying, they were trying to scrap it off without telling Zambians that, that that's what they were trying to do. In my view, they were already preparing to to, to, to hide and protect Mr. Lungu. But because Bill was thrown out. Article 52 still gives Ch Sangwa, Dr. Sua Stewart, anybody else, including myself, the right to go to the concord and say, Mr. Lungu, you have saved twice, according to my ex my, my, my explanation. You have been sworn in twice. Right, yeah. You have saved two terms. Right. And I think, in my view, that you don't, dis you don't, you don't qualify. Now, it's up to the concord to make a decision to say you are wrong. Can I also make say what I want? What I say this afternoon? Those who are following my page, I said go, go one of the relatives, one of the relatives of Mr. Lungu, Dr. Lungu, Edika Lungu, Lungu, who's in the concord, must rescue herself because she's related to Mr. Lungu. So her decision might bring problems to Zambia. It's the same lady who was woken up at midnight i know Musha, you said any any lawyer can be woken up at midnight that's fine the judge was woken up in 2015 to sign a, a, a court injunction to allow mr lungu to stand the same lady is in the court court and is related to mr lungu so what i'm saying to her is rescue yourself madam you cannot hear a court of your a, a case of your nephew <laughs> all right so so we've we've had general chipaku paku um, say something about the petition. I've, I think I've said enough. Um, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to say anything uh, on 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 the petition at all because I think I have I have had I've said enough, and I think there there is need for us here to have a very peaceful show without confusion. Because if I said what I think. General Chipaku Paku, you are going to kick me out of this this uh, this broadcast. So I'm not going to, no, to say anything. I think, Munsha, let's be fair to our viewers. You've got the right as a citizen to say what you think. And give, <laughs> give them your view. What I've given you is my view. And I I think that's the view of uh, John Sangwa State Council. That's the view of uh, uh, Dr. Shua Shua. Yeah. They have their own opinion, which could be right, which could be wrong. Tell us what your opinion is. And we will, for me, I will respect it. Okay. About whether the petition is going to succeed. Is that the question? No, 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 no. The right to petition. No. There are two things here, Munsha. I think let's separate yeah. them. The right to petition under Article 52. 
which I think every person has got that right. Yeah. The whether it's going to succeed or not, that's a different story. Right. That's the up to the concord to look at it. What I'm just saying is that Madame, because it's your nephew, rescue yourself or take yourself away from that, that case. There are two things we're discussing here. Under Article 52, mm -hmm. whether the citizen has got the right to petition, I am saying every citizen has that right. Well, yes, indeed. Do we, agree on, do we agree on that? Oh, yes, yes, I agree. I agree with you. Every citizen has the right to petition any candidate. I agree. The second thing is up to the concord, whether the concord agrees with what the petitioners have said. Yeah. That Mr. Lungu has been sworn twice. He has, he has been in, in, uh, he has been president twice. Whether they they, they interpret the, the, that as correct or not, right. but for me, I'm just saying to the concord lady who knows is related to Dr. Lungu, he she should not sit on that concord. And the other thing I want to tell Zambians is that remember that Dr. Lungu went to Solwezi, flew to Solwezi using your taxpayers' money. And said right. in Solwezi, if the judges in Zambia try and be funny like what happened in Kenya and judge against me, there will be chaos in Zambia. What did he mean? So are the judges going to be, the Concord going to be intimidated by what Mr. Lungu said? Are we going to have chaos if they say no? It's because if, if, if the Concord says the judge against him, which means the PF is no, is no candidate. That's what it means. So are they going to fear what he said in Solwezi or are they going to stand up and defend the constitution? This is a discussion. I don't know where they'll go. You don't know where they'll go. This is where yeah, I don't know. understand. How do you not know where, they are, where they'll go? I don't know because- How come? How come the, you the don't fact, know? The fact is Mr. Lungo has been sworn in twice. The fact is, Mr. Lungu saved the first term under the under the old constitution of 1996. I am, I am asking the question: Why don't you think that you know you can predict what the Corn Court will say? Why is that a, a huge problem for you? You I are telling me facts. I'm, I'm not. I'm not dealing with facts. I'm dealing with with simple common sense. Why is your common sense general leading you to conclude that? Uh, Edgar Chagolungu will be disqualified under Article 52. No, I am saying, first of all, the citizens have got the right to petition him. I agree. That's that we agree. The second thing yeah. is that there is this petition now, two petitions, which right. might be made. Okay, this there, there are three petitions. The first one is over the Avidavit. Let's put that one aside. No, no, that affidavit has already been dismissed, right? That has already been dismissed, okay? Yeah. The next one, the next one we're talking about here... The vice president, the, the running the, mates. The running, the, the running mates. Yeah. And and then the, the, the Dr. Lungu's petition. Yeah, yes. So those are the two we're dealing with here. The, the running mates, that they didn't follow the constitution, they didn't pay their 95,000, they didn't uh, get their supporters. Yes. According to according to the petitioners, right. And then the second petition is that Mr. Lungu does not qualify to, to stand because he has, he has he he was elected twice and sworn in twice, and the argument is very very clear. But but that but, Lungu, that, but that question has already been settled in the in the Danipule case and in the Kapalasa case. Mr. Munsha, this is where we differ. I don't think so. I don't think it was settled. What was settled in the Dan Puller case was a theoret theoretical or academic question, which never mentioned. I think we, we have agreed, we have discussed this before. You, you cannot make a judgment of somebody who was not mentioned in the petition. Okay. Uh, Kapalasa. Kapalasa. Kapalasa was trying to confirm whether the Dan Puller case was right or wrong. And what, what did the judge say? The truth. What did out. the judge say? They threw out threw it out because they had already interpreted the issue, the, the academic question which had been asked. So that's my view. So I think we have agreed that Article Fifty Two still stands. That these people are right. They've got the right to petition. 
the second question we should ask ourselves is what are, what is the concord going to do from your my understanding you are saying they're going to throw it out that's fine the concord has got the right to do that in my view i don't think they should throw it out because they never answered that question during, during the dan case yeah this is this is where we differ um I think I think this issue of President Lungo's eligibility has been settled in the Dani Pule and now in the Kapalasa case. In other words, uh, the judges have already ruled on the eligibility of President Lungu. Um, it's a waste of time to petition on that question. If there is any other question, maybe. But if it's the question of eligibility, it's uh, it's a waste of time, and I can predict that it is not likely to succeed the petition to disqualify President Lungu on the basis of um, the sonning twice or serving twice is very unlikely to succeed and and it is a waste of time, okay? The last time I said it was a waste of common sense and people came up to me and said, why are you saying it's a, it's a waste of common sense? So I'm not going to say that it's a waste of common sense. I'll just say that it's a waste of time general, okay? Um, uh, the, the, the idea that this matter did not bring the name of President Lungu, you don't need the name of President Lungu, right? Um, so, so, so sadly, this is my prediction. Um, do I believe that President Lungu should be defeated in the upcoming elections? Yes. And in fact, we've even endorsed President uh, Haga Inde Hichilema to be leader of our country. Um, we, we remain very, very convinced that President Lungu has destroyed our country. He is a dictator. Um, the Kwacha is, is, is basically been reduced to nearly zero. Um, he, has, he can't pay doctors, he can't pay nurses, he can't hire teachers. He, instead, he is buying helicopters and, and very nice aeroplanes. So there is no doubt about what we believe and think about the patriotic front government. But personally, I would want us to direct our efforts towards real, real action that defeats this government, rather than giving them more propaganda coups. That's what I think. Because after this is dismissed, they're going to go back to the electorate and say, oh no, these people, there was already a decision, now I'm, I qualify, and, and, and it's going to give him more life. You know what I mean? What we needed. Uh, now, I'm not disputing the right of citizens of our country to petition. Um, but what I'm saying is, well, guys, um, that's why the UPN is not standing behind any of these petitions. No. No. Yeah. The, the, the UPN is not standing because every citizen has got that right. I think the message for me to uh, the UPND, not through Musha, uh, 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 Backway to TV, is through our private discussions, is that focus, keep your eyes on the ball, UPND. And I totally agree with you. Mr. Lungu has failed. PF has failed. And for me, I would like to face Mr. Lungu and defeat him clean. Right. Okay. That's, so, that, 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 that's one thing which I'm very, very clear in my mind. That is, yeah. Mr. Lungu must be faced by all Zambians in right. the Eastern province, in the Luapula, in the Copper Belt, and be defeated clean, and be, then be told to say, look, you, you had your chance, you failed, but we're giving chance to another person to take over the, the government. Why? Right. Because that is the only way we can, we can salvage our country. I mean, Moshe, I've been in this country for over 23, 25 years now. I've never right. seen a, a pound at 32 kwacha. Never. Never. Today, today's pound is 32 kwacha to right. the pound. Yeah. I've, I've never, never. That, yeah. that is unbelievable. Munsha, our country is in debt. Our country can't pay its own interest on euro bonds. No. Our, we can't pay our interest on the Chinese loans. No. And you know, what we are discovering now is that the IMF is actually getting annoyed because ministers were borrowing. Camp Pyongo would go and borrow to, to buy guns and everything right. for the police. The other minister would go and borrow. You know, you can't have a government like that. Exactly. And, and I think it shows the lack of discipline. So when we are endorsing President Haga Inde Hichilema, it is because he deliberately 
talks about fiscal discipline. Now, this is fiscal discipline, which we have also seen in his own life, right? Uh, fiscal discipline where this is a gentleman extremely rich and he does not go on the market and begins throwing money in the air. Because you can know whether a person is steady by the way they handle even a 1,000 kwacha. If you are a steady person, you're going to budget properly. If you are like suspending beer. No, but if you are an unstable character, but now you want 1,000 kwacha mtumba, most of you have to go to the five kwacha, five kwacha, five the people that have no business having to, you, you are giving everywhere. In other words, you know, 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 and that's not good for the country. That's why we are saying, we, we are in agreement here. There is something fundamentally wrong with the way the patriotic front have been governing this nation. Fundamentally problematic. Because now that the IMF, by of IMF, they can't even give them books. They're hiding. Because as you have said, somebody goes to borrow for guns. Somebody goes to borrow for Fimandamanda. Somebody goes to borrow for bullets. Somebody goes to borrow... Uh, for, for a university. They were borrowing all this money. Lack of discipline, fiscal discipline, nothing in the patriotic front government. And that's why we are in this crisis that we are in. Now, General, there is there is this issue over uh, Mobita Nawa, and I'm glad that the Law Association of Zambia yeah. has gotten on it, and they are talking about it. Yeah. Now, we've got to talk about it again. The reason why we have separate, separation of powers in our country is that the people that have guns, in this case, the, the executive to which soldiers and police belong, is so that they do not misuse their guns and jails to trample on the rights of citizens. So when a citizen is suspected of committing a crime, you arrest him. And then if you have to hold a citizen, you hold a citizen for at least 48 hours, upon which you are either supposed to release him or charge him with a crime. What has happened, General, is that Mubita Nawa, for two weeks, has been in a police cell without taking him before a judge. Mm. That is extremely serious. It is embarrassing. It's an This is a moment of shame. Shame on the president, shame on the government, shame on the attorney general, shame on the police inspector general, shame on the government of the Republic of Zambia. That they would do this to put a person in jail for two weeks without charging the person and without taking that person before a judge. What do you say about that, General? Well, I'm glad that Lars has just issued, I think, a statement about an hour ago that they, they are finding the behavior of the PF government. By the way, Zambians, we still have a government of the PF. As long as Mr. Lungu is in State House, that government is there. He is abusing the, 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 the police. He is abusing the legal, uh, constitutional, I mean, the, the, the judiciary. Because the law is very, very clear. You cannot keep somebody for more than 20, uh, for, uh, for 8 hours without charging them. Mubita, this is the second week. Mubita right. has got a family. I would like to say this. There was a message circulating last night that the UPND had ignored Mubita. Please, 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 that's not true. Mubita has got legal uh, um, uh, support from the, from the party, and they, even today the lawyers were working on his case. It's very, very clear that the PF government, Mr. Lungu, is trying to intimidate Mubita. It's a political, it's political intimidation. 
they want to weaken they want to weaken HH's office by right. all means. But what I'm saying is that uh, what Lars has said today, Mr. Lungu is a lawyer. He should be ashamed of, of himself. Right. Now, 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 the Law Association of Zambia has definitely guided, but we need to stop this idea that all the time there's got to be intervention from somewhere. That's why I'm not even for this thing of applying for habeas corpus because it is really expensive. People do not realize this. There is no way we can have a nation where the executive continues to arbitrarily detain citizens on the pretext that these citizens are going to hire lawyers. Lawyers are expensive. For a person, before the person can even afford to have a lawyer to make the application for habeas corpus, how much are these citizens going to have? How much, how much, how much are lawyers charging for habeas corpus? If it were here in Canada, habeas corpus will cost between two to five thousand dollars just to apply for, for habeas corpus. It's expensive. In Zambia, I think it's even more expensive in Zambia as well. So how are we for how long are we going to be depending on these very expensive processes? When the solution is very clear, you know, you're know, that is what we expect. We cannot live in the nation where the expectation is that people must suffer. Now, does this mean then that the state may not have a real case here? Here is the problem. Mm. You see, a criminal, a criminal prosecution, the process you use to prosecute, even the criminal matters. If you go before a judge and you convince the judge of Kwebati, this state did not mean to prosecute this person. They wanted to torture him. They wanted to make him suffer. A judge is going to be sympathetic towards that accused. In other words, the state itself is undermining its credibility yeah. through its treatment of detainees. There is no justification under our law that because a person insults President Lungu, and, 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 and I know that there is, this is not the case here. This is the case where Mubita now with a camera. Mwalishi wa vifuweba pa Facebook na ifuwe umulomo. Wakwata Facebook, share and wire live. Nomba, lirono ilanda na mwe. Ewa tu kire wa Edgar Lungu. Uku, uku batuka. You know, that was pretty bad. We are not justifying that personally. I do not believe that we need to insult President Lungu or insult anyone. I don't think it's uh, it's good. And in fact, it's a crime in Zambia to insult Edgar Chagwalungu because he's the president of our nation. So insulting him is a crime. Do not insult him. However, you can say, for example, things like, if you take a balungu, but take a fiyama dongo, 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 dongo. Nangu balungu, niba ashika dongo. You know, when you say that, it's not an insult. You are mocking him because of the way he governs. But when you say chati de chove, or you use the C word, or you use the N word, whatever word you use against the president, that is a crime. That is very clear. Okay. So, yeah. so, so, Vashika Dongo, though, Vashika Dongo is a very good name. Like, oh, Lulu. The, their ticket is known as Lulu, the Lulu ticket. It's very nice because you are mocking him nicely. You are saying that uh, their ticket is Lulu. That's very, very good. And, uh, and uh, I'm, I'm, you know, but, but we shouldn't, we shouldn't allow insults. Now, Nawa was caught in a situation where he's taking a live broadcast and then somebody comes and insults the president, which I believe and is a crime. Musha, the police should have been arresting the gentleman who insulted. Just like you, I do not support insults. I don't insult. I say facts, but I don't insult. So I've got that video of Mobita Live he did not invite this person. He said to this person, can you tell us about this event today? What do you think about this event? This third party ended up insulting the president, which was wrong. 
And yeah. guess what? Mubita went live immediately and said, look, my sincere apology to the country, this is wrong. And you cannot say what you are saying because right. that is wrong. And right. I apologize for what has happened. So this is almost a, a, a nine months or so. Why are they arresting, arresting Mubita now and not the person who committed the crime? Yeah. Why now? Now, now that settles it. I think Mubita now is, is innocent. Now, even if he were guilty, okay, now, even if it's Mubita Nawa who actually insulted the president. Now, Mubita Nawa did not. Now, even if he did, he did it, there is still procedure under our law where if you, as a police, you find this person, you suspect him to have committed a crime, you charge them within two days, and then you return them to a judge so that a judge then, judges, they go through the case. And then they either pronounce him guilty or not guilty, and then they get taken to a court, to, to a jail. That is the procedure that is supposed to be followed. In this case, that is not what has been followed. In this case, the police have detained a person for two weeks without trying them and without giving them an opportunity to go and appear before a judge. This is shameful conduct on the part of the Zambian state. This is illegal. It's unconstitutional. It's a violation of human rights and it's a violation of the law. President Lungu should never ever speak about him being faithful to the law when his government is detaining political detainees without giving them an opportunity to appear to bring them before judges. Well, Musha, I said uh, the other day that Mr. Mr. Lungu, Dr. Lungu, uh, whatever you want to call him, Dr. Lungu, uh, the Lulu, he, Lu, Dr. Lulu, he has he's trying to turn our country into another Uganda, where you can be detained as long as the president wishes. He wants to turn our country to another Zimbabwe, where under Mugabe, where you can disappear and you, nobody will ask the courts to <laughs> not ask them questions. Mm. And, 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 you know, Zambians, that's not, that's not the Zambia we want. That's no. not the Zambia we, no. we, we had. That's not the no. Zambia we, we even dream of. Dream of. No. We don't, we don't dream of a Zambia where you are, go to court, you, you, go to, you, you get arrested and you don't appear in court. Yeah. And basically, Mr. Lungu is using the police to fight his political battles. That's what he's doing. Right. We were getting reports now. Muita now was not feeling well yesterday. You ended up going to a water was a clinic for treatment. He's not feeling well. He doesn't care about it. He doesn't. Mr. Lungu doesn't care about this man who has been in jail, in detention for two weeks. He's not feeling right. well. And yeah. as far as I'm concerned, Muita is innocent. Until right. proven guilty. Right, right, right. Yeah. In a, in, a, in a court of law. Those are the fundamental tenets of our democracy and our constitution. That everybody is presumed innocent. Actually, it's very uh, funny that even if you are to go to Kabuala, you are going to go to Kabuala, you Importo, going to go and, and naiba, naiba, naiba. When you apprehend that criminal, that criminal, the law still presumes that that criminal is innocent. This, this is very important. Right in the act of stealing. In his hands, the law presumes innocent. In other words, Take him to the police station. The police are going to investigate. The police are going to charge him. You are the witness. They are going to go to court. In the court of law, a judge is going to hear sides. You are going to stand before a judge and say, And the, the and and must also defend himself in my hands. And then a judge hears both sides. And then a judge decides, a magistrate, 
e bwana ndoko but even go boka bwana na chachi ne i believe what this person is saying go but kaptula wa ile ikata mumba go go yobe yani ni kaptula ya bene so for that it is theft now number i sentence you to either two weeks in jail five years in jail or whatever it is that is what constitutionalism means this idea of that the police are going to arrest any person they suspect of a crime and detain them for two weeks is unconstitutional. It is illegal. It defies common sense. In a free country like Zambia, we shouldn't tolerate this kind of thing. Today, it's Movita Nawa because it belongs to the UPND. Tomorrow, it can be anybody. And we cannot live in a country where there is such arbitrary arrest, where the state just comes and, and arrests people, suspicion of crime, limit their liberties. It does not matter to you why it's two weeks here. Even if it's an hour, the abduction, about abduction, even if somebody, you abduct them for, for, for one hour, it's still an abduction. The same way, you cannot be limiting people's liberties in this manner. No. So, 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 so the patriotic front should be ashamed of this behavior. They can't tell us anything. The president cannot even state house itself. It should be completely ashamed. So you see, no. state house does not only have no idea about to how to govern the country, but they also have no idea about how to respect constitutional liberties of our people. They also do not have a clue of how to, to, to roll out their own uh, running mate. Like, like, like the, what, what happened with the, the run, rolling out of, uh, of uh, Professor Nkanduluo. It's a huge, huge scandal. It's symptomatic of a government and a leader who is not steady. In August, the people of Zambia must make a big, big uh, decision and remove this government from, from office. We are tired of this kind of mediocrity. General. Monsieur, how can a president respect the rule of law when he misled the Zambians that uh, he was right, that Zambians didn't know how to read? The, the ministers had the right <laughs> to remain in office. Mr. Lungu, you were wrong, completely wrong because the constitution did not allow that. If, right. the, if, if the Zambians had not won that case in court, by now, Campiongo and all these ministers would have been flying their flags and drawing government fuel for campaigning. So Mr. Mr. Lungu was wrong. He doesn't respect the law. He doesn't respect the constitution. Right. There are a lot of, there are a lot of things which Mr. Lungu has done which are unconstitutional. Can I remind Zambians? That when, right. when, when, when parliament was dissolved in 2015, Mr. Lungu signed an, a, a loan on behalf of Zambia. That was unconstitutional, Mr. Lungu. Right. There are a lot of other things which have been done by Mr. Lungu which are unconstitutional. Yeah. Now, General, we did say that legal um, services are extremely expensive in Zambia. Um, so the affidavit case, you remember the affidavit case that uh, John Sangwa did yeah. in his own capacity. Now, I think he's now clever because he's now not going in his own capacity. He's using a company. So now he's using a company because what, what can you do to a company, right? Unless you, you pierce the corporate veil. But, but for now, he's using... A, did I say that? Forget about mm -hmm. what I said. Anyway, um, I'm wrong. Completely wrong. Um, so, 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 Mr. John Sangwa did sue um, the, in the in the affidavit case he lost. So, Makebi Zulu and Associates and Lewis Mosho and Associates they are now demanding three million kwacha in court costs. The Attorney General, my friend, he has also issued a demand for five million kwacha, which makes it eight million kwacha. How long did that case last? Less than a day. Oh, no. Okay, so, yeah. so don't say less than a day because court cases actually do not begin on the day that they are argued. Well, so they I know there's, the, there's, the, there's the filing, there's the prepara preparation of the case. There is the legal, the, the lawyers 
whatever it is, eight million kwacha. It's abuse of office by the Attorney General and the Monsho and uh, a young man in Mokebi. Right. Basically, they are trying to, uh, to intimidate, right. intimidate uh, uh, John Sangwa. Right. Now, okay. now, whatever time, I know you lawyers are yeah. very expensive people. You lawyers are very, very learned people, so you must be compensated well. Yeah. But for them to claim eight million from a citizen, right? Uh, it's 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 um it's 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 evil. Right. They're abusing so, the attorney general is abusing his office, and these yeah. lawyers, these lawyers, Mukabe, Zulu, and uh, Mocho. In fact, I won't say much about Mocho because there are a lot of other things he's, invo he's involved in. I think it's a very unethical. Right. Um. I think we we need now. <laughs> I practice, I practice in a different jurisdiction from the Zambian jurisdiction, okay? Uh, so I'm not a Zambian legal practitioner. I am an Alberta legal practitioner. And there are several ethics that govern our profession. And, and one of the things is you can't just come up with costs that are this unreasonable. Now, General, I need to let you know that this is by no means an exception. I have seen several costs that lawyers throw at each other in Zambia, and they're in, in, in millions. And, and I, think, I think for me, if a lawyer comes up with 8 million kwacha as cost for a lawsuit that was decided in less than a month, my respect for the lawyer is diminished. It's yeah. diminished. I do understand. Because, I do understand. Because, because then they are unreasonable. Because eight million dollars, eight million kwacha is is how much? Let's divide. Let's divide it by what? Twenty two kwacha. It's three hundred and sixty three thousand dollars us dollars even much more if we we factor in canadian dollars four hundred thousand four hundred thousand in costs for a lawsuit that lasted less than a month which was dismissed within a month this is this is unreasonable okay um <laughs> this is completely unreasonable you can't run a profession in this manner the law association of zambia must begin intervening in such demands okay now this demand general is very different from the other letter that lawyers for mr sampa have issued against um uh, a certain person who has defamed mr sampa to having been behind the the, the death of one ruth mbando okay that is separate that is known as you are you are trying to demand because somebody has injured your reputation and everything. Yeah. The eight, mi eight million kwacha we are talking about has nothing to do with injuring reputation. It has everything to do with a lawyer claiming that that's the money that it cost for them to be part of this lawsuit. Eight million kwacha. The attorney general. Lewis Mosho and Makebi Zulu. That's the amount of money they are looking for from Mr. John Sangwa. Now, I knew that the affidavit case was going nowhere, okay? I called it, it's a pointless lawsuit. General, you disagreed with me, but it was a completely pointless lawsuit. But I'm sorry that even if it were a pointless lawsuit, eight million kwacha as cost, 400,000 Canadian dollars as cost, it's just ridiculously too much. It shows that this, it shows lack of seriousness, and the Law Association of Zambia should begin cracking down on these practices of lawyers dreaming up all these figures out of their heads. At but how Monsha, much is it? One point five million kwacha. What nonsense! Monsha, is this? these lawyers have been used as political tools. They are a lot of cases where Zambian lawyers, I'm sorry that I will not mention them, they have been used to punish citizens. Some lawyers have been used for deals which are terrible. 
okay, where where lawyers, instead of them being very ethical and follow the, the ethics of the of the profession, have been used for political games. They've been used for scandals. Okay. Look look at look at General, look at the General look at the I to, no, 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 no. I can't let you continue um talking about people that are not here to defend themselves. Let's 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 deal with the cause. You know? I, I don't want to be, to be in trouble. Because because Munja, what are you doing? Uh, spoiling our name. So I just want us to restrict ourselves to this five million kwacha that the attorney general is demanding, and the one point five billion, and the one point five billion that Lewis Mosho and Makebi Zulu are demanding from from John Samuel. They are reasonable. That's unreasonable. That's that's a fact. It's an ethical and unreasonable. That's what I can say. And right. that's what I'm saying. My conclusion is that they are being used as lawyers to fight political battles. They're trying to punish, they're trying to intimidate John Sangwa. It's unreasonable, that's what I can say. Yeah, okay. So so that amount of 363,000, if you say that an hour, uh, a billable hour for every, every lawyer is $500, okay? If we put it at $500, it's 727 hours that they spent on this particular case, completely un, 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 unreasonable. And so all we are asking is, if lawyers want to be, um, they've, they've got to, to, to deal with this issue. You can't just be dreaming up figures, throw them across, and say that the taxation is going to deal with it. It's a waste of time. Lawyers are supposed to be reasonable. In other words, reasonable. What is the reasonable figure that you actually spent on a particular case? It's unreasonable that the Attorney General of our country spent 5 million kwacha uh, intervening in this case. And then when the case is dismissed, demand 5 million kwacha. Where will the, how can the Attorney General even stand with himself at Yom Kwai um, asking John Sangwa to give us 5 million kwacha? Crazy. Unethical. <laughs> what, what? Unethical. So okay, ethical. maybe, maybe, General, they were they were coming ku, 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 high court, ku Supreme Court. They were using helicopters. You never know. They hired two helicopters from Doctor Helicopter. <laughs> That's what they could have been used. You never know. Or, was, or the other option is that uh, all the all the court papers were were gold. They were using <laughs> gold and papers and from Winnipeg. They were using yeah. gold from Winilunga. Yeah. Yeah. And five billion. No, but this also shows the lack of seriousness because if you are throwing numbers like that, it means then that how do you even sit down? Whatever an accountant, that, dear accountant, please, it's five million kwacha that we spent on this case. How is that even justifiable? Anyway, I think we've 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 taken too much time on this general. I'm no, the law, the, the, these those lawyers, are, uh, including the attorney general, playing politics. That's what I can conclude. It's political. It's political. It's not about cost. No. Yeah. It's political. Right. I agree. Okay. Um, we, we're going to bring in our resident pharmacist, pharmacist Kaniga. Yes. Good evening, Council. Oh, Misha. Good evening. So, if you sue the Attorney General and you lose, the Attorney General is coming for five million kwacha from you. <laughs> good good evening, Jeremy. So. How are you? I'm fine. Good evening. I don't think so if it is necessary for Attorney General to demand five million. Well, there is also another demand for three million. I think it's not making any, any sense in terms of demanding money as if he, you see Mr. Sangwa prints money. No, he's, he's a human and he, you see he's also exercising as a professional of being a lawyer to, uh, to do some of these uh, some of these things. No, when no, the Ashidavid case was pretty poor case. Yeah, uh, coming back to the to the latest which we have now, we have about two or three people have uh, filed in. I think uh, the first one, the Danpure, it wasn't uh, the way it was sorted out. 
I think didn't cover this one. Uh, the way the, the new one which Sangwa has put in. In, one, in this, the new one, Sangwa admitted that the term of office is from 2011 to 2016, and from 2016 to 2021. So now with the, the, this one, he, he has another terminology, if I can say so, which has brought in where he's saying, look, uh, now the problem which you are saying is, was this man have uh, been a president twice? Yes, he has been a president twice, but now we don't know what the court will decide. So for me, I feel the uh, I feel the, the petition uh, have uh, some uh, some grounds on which he, the court are going to determine. I don't think so if it's going to throw it the way they did with the the, the recent one, which is the the Kaparasa one, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. So Sangwa has something. But anyway, let's wait and hear what the court are going to, to determine. Coming back. All right. Uh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, go, go ahead. ahead. Yeah. Go ahead. Uh, yeah. Coming back to the issue which you just mentioned about the issue of the of uh, the doctors where they have said on Monday they are going to be to go on a ghost on the ghost law. Uh, right. One thing that he, you need to know and understand that he, this is the first time in Zambia where we are having our uh, when where we are having about 500 doctors not being employed while we are approaching the the, the time for for elections. It's the first time, and where we have about 1,500 medical doctors who are not being paid the, their settling allowance. Imagine you are being sent to go work from Dudumwezi. And someone will just go through there and they don't give you your separate in allowance. It's something very right. disturbing to to our to our doctors. And the the, the government needs to look right. into right. that matter with urgency it requires. Now, yes. So so our country is faced with the COVID crisis, firstly. Second, we have this chronic lack of uh, healthcare workers. And most of these healthcare workers left during the reign of Professor Kandulu as Minister of Health. Including, um, including, so, including the immediate past Minister of Wealth, Dr. Jonas Chanda. Let's find, the, let's find out. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, most of it. So, so then the question really is what, what is the game? What is the end game here? So there is no money for nurses, there is no money for doctors, but there is money for President Lungu's plan. This is yeah. where priorities are. Right? There was money. There was money for the guns and the tear gas. There was a right. lot of money for tear gas and those 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 blue vehicles which they have. Yeah, Fiman. I call them Fimanda Manda. And there's been a lot of money for building those little houses which look like chicken runs for the police. You know, yeah. a lot of money. How can you be building building houses which look like chicken run, runs when doctors have no medicine, when the doctors are not employed, when nurses right. are not employed? Right. Our priorities, I'm not saying the police should not have good houses. I'm not saying that. Yeah. But I'm saying our priorities are upside down. Right, it's true. So, so we hope that they are going to come up with a deal between now and Monday. But I hope, I hope that they are going to come up with a deal so that the doctors are are, are paid. They are paid their arrears, and then they continue treating our people. Is it too much to ask? You yeah. know, I mean, I if, if they've got I no money, they've, oh. they've no money to pay the doctors. How do they get money to pay the artists? I mean, yeah, I I don't, I don't, that's, that's exactly the case. So, so this government has no money to pay doctors, but it has money to give the artists. And now we see the reason why they paid the artists all that government money. We see it now, right? Yeah. Maybe, yeah. maybe because everybody requires a little bit of something, like TV market, which requires the stars. So the only thing that TV market asks for our listeners is to set up the stars. Okay. Now it's not the stars that you type. It's actually you buy them from <laughs> Facebook. Facebook sells stars, and then you send us stars. It's a completely yeah, corrupt system. Don't don't. Uh, don't worry. Which, 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 
But yeah. on the other hand, on the other hand, the government gave money to the artists. Yeah. You see, one, one thing, yes, they gave the money to the artists, but uh, for your own information, again, uh, there are about uh, 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 hundreds of millions of, uh, of uh, the money that the government released to procure the medication, and they said that this medication were delivered to medical stores, but these drugs never reach the facilities. Uh, drugs worth millions, hundreds of millions of of kwacha. I, I I know. I just received the information uh, yesterday. I know as the the, the days goes on, you will see how this this thing has come out. Where there is another scandal worth hundreds millions of kwacha worth of drugs, what, which were not delivered in facilities, but were dispatched by Zambia uh, Zambia Medical and the medicine a, a, a supply agency, which is formerly known as medical stores. So there are all those kind of scandals that is happening where money released, but still not going to the intended purpose. We have found ourselves now in this situation where we have about 500 doctors. We have about uh, uh, 1,000 pharmacies not yet employed. We have about uh, uh, 500 or so uh, biomedical scientists not yet employed. So, we have our, our, yes. So, so what you're saying is that there is another scandal that is brewing. This is this is a scandalous government. The people of Zambia should remove it, um, uh, Mr. 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 Kaniga. Yes, there is a serious scandal concerning the the, the drugs, mind you. Uh, just like in the budget for 2020. One for 2021, there was about 1.2 more than 1.2 billion kwacha that was the, that was budgeted for for drugs. But I can say I haven't heard of any drugs that have been procured so far. So where has that money gone? So these are some of the issues that have been there. But now there's a scandal brewing which is coming out, uh, uh, which you hear very soon concerning the the drugs that were dispatched but have never been reached. The facilities where have those uh, uh, drugs gone? Yeah, it's true. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Mr. Kanika. Um, yes, we don't have your name yet. We can only see your your your, your cover. Tell us, Brian Impande. Oh yeah, uh, Uncle Musha, how are you? I'm very well, and here is General. General, <laughs> it's always good, good, good to see you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. We are fine, we are fine, thanks. Uh, just getting straight into the discussion, the first one that I want to talk about is the issue of Nawa. I think you, it cannot be said any better than you have put it. Uh, the Zambia police should release Mr. Nawa forthwith. If they do not want to take him to, to court, they should release him unconditionally. And we cannot have a country where a country of, this is the country of laws. So if we have to be a country of, the, and, and Mr. Lungu has pledged, you know, to, to defend the law and to, to, to defend the rule of law. So as such, we demand unconditionally the release of now. And this thing of, you know, where we want to jail people and put them in jail for a long time before you investigate, just to make sure that we inflict psychological pain on them. It's not right. It's not good at all, at all, at all. Then coming to the issue of uh, the, the attorney general, you know, demanding all that colossal sums of money, I think uh, it could not be put any better than the general has put it to say <laughs> it's a way of punishing, you know, to, of punishing one sangwa. They want to intimidate him so that next time he does not take matters to court, fear that no, though in case... They, 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 it doesn't go their way. They That's why now, now he's presenting a company. Exactly. So, like you said, now a company would be very difficult for, for a company to say, you just say, no, me, I was just representing a company. So, and you cannot, you cannot demand from a company. So, he, he has played them. He's being smart. They thought he will stop now. With this, it doesn't matter whether he wins them, but in a way, it's a distraction to them and they don't like it. That's why they are making sure that they bring up all these exorbitant, you know, charges. But Thank you. about the, the petition, whether it will go through, 
that is not us to, to talk about. Let's leave that to the court. But no, <laughs> and, and no, no that, this is the only time where I get to say my predictions, and these are the only time where my predictions come true. You know, but you know, is no, generally no, very good predictions, but I'm also good at such predictions. No, 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 you are good because you say the obvious. Come on, we, we know that. Uh, those judges were appointed by Longo, and our judicial system is not has not really advanced to that level, you know, where we can certainly say they can be a shocker, you understand? No, no, so, no. If President Lungu, if President Lungu, for example, um did did rig this election in August, he, his his victory will be reversed. By how this can level, he, how can I his how can his anti how can his anti reverse a, a petition? Exactly. exactly. And who is the anti? By the way, there is no anti there. Uh, thank you, right. thank you very much, Brian. <laughs> okay, I'm much appreciated. Don't go anywhere, Brian. After this broadcast, let's have a chat, okay? Okay, no problem. All right, uh, by Rose Limbrick. Mukwai. Uh, good Are evening, they? Council, and uh, good evening, General. Myself, evening, I'll just go straight to the point of Amovita um, Nawa. It's really, really a shame and sad to the president because what Mr. Lungu is doing is not acceptable. Nawa, he used to be a powerful uh, a preacher here in the United States, actually used to go with um, um, the T.D. Jacks, and people are watching. And Mr. Lungu, the way he is um, using the power to abuse, abuse citizens, whereby he ordered expensive medicine and all the condoms that were expired. They didn't even put him in, in sales. And then the only thing is only putting the opposition parties, members in the sales. And uh, right. If, if he's doing like that, which means then if you want to kill somebody, you just kill him so that you forget about him. Because the way he's doing is going to kill a lot of people. And yeah. Mr. Lungu, I'm speaking, I guess, is listening to me. Please, release right. Mubita Nawa. Right. For Balungu, for sure, if it was your daughter or your son, as a mom, the way I'm feeling right now, no, no, Mr. Lungu, and tell your police and you polices in Zambia. For sure, Mr. Lungu is abusing people and you're just following. It's really, really a shame and sad to the nation. Right. It's not only a lot of people are watching what is happening in Zambia. And, you know, God is not dead. Is right. watching at upon Mr. Lungu, and if he right. thinks he's the thing is that because he has done all kinds of nonsense in the country, maybe we don't, we don't even know they have sold the country. I'm just so scared, even for my family, because I wake up in the morning, I said, Oh, Zambia is in Mexico. Exactly. Exactly. Exactly, because what you have done is a lot, uh, uh, council and general, to tell you the truth. The man Mr. Lungu is 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 owing, like the way you said, it's not there. There was no order in Zambia. Whoever wakes up, oh, I need to build a Isaka. You go Congola the money. It's not like that. You Zambians vote wisely. We don't need this PF government again. Another Thank five you. years, people are gonna be dead. Right. Thank you, Mr. Lungu. I think you are listening to me. Please, we want Movita now or tomorrow to be out in that sales. Thank right. you. Thank you. And and of course, um, we are we we pride ourselves to be a Christian nation, and yet we almost tolerate this kind of incarceration of of our people in police cells. It's it's very sad. Um, uh, Mr. Chiluchilufia, Dr. Chiluchilufia was accused of very, very vicious crimes of stealing from the government and things like that. He was never placed in a police cell. In fact, chiefs from Ruapula traveled to offer him solidarity. And yet, for an hour, it's just because he was at the wrong place where somebody came and insulted the president. This is unfair, completely unfair. Can yeah. I say something? Can I say something, yes, Musha, just for a minute? Yeah. The, the video which you are seeing about Mubita was edited by some people. It's those people 
who edited it and circulated the wrong video who are actually supposed to be arrested. Right. Because the, ori the original video of what happened is there for everybody to see. Right. So basically, they used the same video, edited it, and circulated the, uh, a fake video, and now they're intimidating an innocent person. I think it's not right. fair. And, right. and the world is watching. All the embassies have been informed in, in Osaka. Yeah. These donors who are giving Zambia money for uh, hospitals, uh, for medicines, the Americans have been informed about what is happening. Yeah. And so don't blame us when we, we, we hear, when you hear that we have gone to demonstrate at the London High Commission in, in London, don't blame us. Right. Because what else do you want us to do? Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, now, Mwene Frank, what do you have to say? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, General. How are you? I'm fine, thank you so much. Uh, you've got a problem with your mic. Um, I don't know what it is because there's a sort of a, 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 an echo coming back. So just go ahead, sir. Go ahead. Okay, thank you. Uh, first of all, I'd like to to agree with uh, council, though, again, I would want to agree with you. So I'm in between. The issue of uh, eligibility. <laughs> I like uh, I like the way council always comes out to say, "Why, why, Jane? Are you failing to use your common sense <laughs> over this issue?" <laughs> yeah, you are not using the common sense. Ah, uh, no, no, no. no. I, okay, I, 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 I don't use the common sense. I use my military sense, which he doesn't have. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Continue, uh, okay, okay, thank you. Yeah, um, this issue, uh, it can't go anywhere. But again, let us not be sympathetic. Let us allow the the court to process the whole issue, because uh, with you, with with you, uh, counsel, I feel you are, you are being you are, you are trying to be sympathetic over this issue. But le in as much as we are trying to. So let us allow the, uh, the law to take its. Let's allow the whole court process to take its uh, its process. Because if we just say because we know that this issue is going nowhere, then we are undermining the law. We are not abide, even then by so doing. The, I mean by us doing so, we are actually undermining our very own constitution. We are not supposed to be sympathetic and say okay because. Well, no, let us allow the court to do so. Then the other issue is uh, the issue of Mubita now. The video is there. It's very clear. It was a live video. Now, the thing that I don't, I don't get, maybe law, I mean, counsel, you can uh, enlighten me on this one. There, there should be two days, a few days ago, yeah, a few days ago, the, the, the police spokesperson said uh, something like they're still investigating and all that. What is really there to investigate no, in a video no, no. that can no, make no, someone no. to be detained? The police, the police are embarrassing themselves. There is nothing. Yes, I don't get it. Making a case, release the person. Simple. Exactly. Simple as that. The video is there yeah. to, to investigate because this is a case not where someone is told. No, it's a video they need to investigate what happened and all that. Right. And the video happened in, in December. In December. You know, right. so I, I don't get it. I don't get it anyway. But thank you very much. That's what I just thought of. Thank you. Why is that? Uh, yeah. Thank you. Don't go anywhere. Yes, if you have time, let's start a little bit after this. Wiseman? Yes. Yes, sir. Good, uh, good evening. Good evening. Uh, good evening, General. I missed you. Good evening, uh, Wiseman. Uh, My apologies. Uh, I was busy yesterday. I'm sorry for that. Oh, okay, okay. We understand that. Now, as uh, TV Bakwe 2 is keeping us busy, and I think <laughs> that's very important. Uh, I think, uh, 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 Comrade uh, Munisha. I have to accept that now I've started studying law because of you. I'm now a student of law because of you. You are, you are, you are my inspiration and I have pursued to be in that class. Uh, thank you. Uh, I wanted to talk about, uh, first of all, uh, when I'm starting, I want to say, can you please, uh, the government of Zambia, can you please release Mubita Nawa? We are always behind Mubita Nawa and we are always against uh, this incarceration of uh, this kind of uh, incarceration because uh, if we are showing this kind of character to our to our children 
then we are destroying our nation. We don't. We never know what will come tomorrow. Imagine if the government were to change tomorrow, and this thing start happening to you. Moreover, uh, for like for my for my president, you even have a, you even have a child who, who, who at one one point he faced a forest. That case is still on. So don't forget that even you, your family, they are messing up somewhere. So if you start showing us this kind of character, then you don't know how you're going to to feel. Imagine your daughter is in is in police cell for this long. So could you please just uh, command the police and uh, release Movita now? Secondary, the issue of uh, Makebi Zulu and Antonio Jendo. I think that that those amount is not the intimidation of John Sangwa. It is the intimidation of the Zambian people, Raymans, who will be now scared of going to court because they'll be thinking, maybe even me, when I lose a case, I'm going to be to be given this amount of money to pay it's to a, this person. Why is so it's I think a for scandal. Me, Eight million uh, kwacha is a scandal for a case that lasted less than a week. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, not, 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 not even a, sc a, a scandal for on, for Sangwa. For me, like an ordinary person uh, in Kavu in Makululu, who has taken someone to court and then he has been told, okay, since you have lost this case, I need the five thousand kwacha. I for you to pay me. It's a disaster for that poor, poor woman who just wanted yeah. the clarity from a court. So if this so-called Antonio Genlo and these high, high lawyers can start setting such kind of an example, I think they will be now putting fear in this ordinary citizen who will be trying to go and pursue their justice in court. So for me, it's yeah, a bad, yeah, no, bad, I think, bad indication. And, uh, I, I think should be lawyers, yeah, Zemian lawyers have been doing this for a very long time of demanding exorbitant costs from the losing party. That exorbitant costs that are not reasonable, you know? And, and wasting and the cost bad. time to go to what is known as taxation. And that is yeah. bad. We need to, we need our, our, our law association of Zambia to intervene and uh, put a stop in this. And last yes. is, as you request... Yes, the regulator can actually just tell lawyers to say, because because we take we take an oath. It's not as barristers' oath to say the truth, to not to treat anyone unfairly, and never to um, sell anybody's property. You know, like steal somebody's oh, yeah. property. Because that's how the main duty of a lawyer. It's not to go and talk and argue in court. lawyers. We are trustees. To I have two accounts. Kwari wa account ya company, elu na account ya kusungi, it is not my money. Nomba, if you was a lawyer, tawaba state, kutu wa ingira kumpia shave, <laughs> waiba. I know, yeah, one, I, I know of one lawyer who did that in Zambia, so um, I, you're, you're right. You mean you know yeah. a lawyer who did that? Wise man, do you know, the, General, I can't believe you, which lawyer did that? I yeah, know, yeah, yeah, I think for the client. Everybody knows it's written, it's black yeah. and white. Large. There's a, a record. You tell me which where is he right now? Where, where does he live? He's in Zambia right now. And the and he, and he <laughs> got that from a window. I want General to use his military sense. In where, where is that lawyer right now? The man, the man who's your president stole from a client. That is on record. It's terrible. We have no apology to say. If he wants, he can sue me now, but the truth is, is the record is there. No, no, he will not sue you. So, so, so no, he can't he can sue, he can sue me. He can't sue me because it's the truth. So, yeah. so what I can say, young man, uh, about Tasiras Lungu and Mr. Lungu, 90 days, not even 90, 80 something days, you'll be out, out of that state house. How will you feel if, if Tasira is locked up for Tim Tango? Yeah, yeah, because, exactly. So, because, and, because and, and you say that Chimtengo is just a so physical that, thing, but there is something underneath the Chimtengo forest. No, there's more than there's more than Chimtengo. There's the case of the case of Mukula. How will you feel, Mr. Lungu, on the 14th of August, if Tasila is locked up for another another four four weeks to investigate Mukula? How will you feel? Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, I think so, for me, all these is, cases have to be investigated. How will is, Mr. Lungu feel? I yeah, wouldn't I want, he, I wouldn't want Tasira to be jailed. No, he has got a case. The case Should is must be charged, taken to a judge, and then prosecuted. Exactly. Yeah, yeah I think man, not I think, think, uh, to jail. Thank you very no. much. I think, uh, I think, uh, is, uh, the family of uh, our president, they are very lucky because the incoming president is someone who understands the law. 
and uh, such kind of uh, mistrust won't be there. He's not someone who's bitter. I think he's someone who do things uh, according to the way it's supposed to be. That's how we know HH, unless otherwise. And uh, Rastri, Comrade Musha, as you as you said, can you come to Zambia and draft the new constitution? I think for me, I can accept that. <laughs> Why? General, think, uh, that, yeah, that was our <laughs> conclusion yesterday. They say that Zambian lawyers <laughs> bathing war because since 1964, after, after constitution, Yawasungu, Zambian lawyers have been drafting, drafting, drafting. But no, but they want Chiwempala Constitutional Review Commission. Exactly. Well, and I've, so, I've accepted the offer from the Zambian people for me to come as a person from Chuempala. Now, if you took a pangeko constitution, pantu abena chipata, ba afirua kupanga mvunga, ba afirua, mvunga, ba afirua, na chona, ba afirua. So now, it's time to Chuempala. Well, yeah, so that's what, I was... what, what I can say to our viewers, read the petition from Sangwa today over the legibility to know your history of your constitution. Yeah, and okay. if, if, you, if you are studying law, read that. Not because it's right, Musha. I'm just saying the, the historical perspective of how our constitution has been amended. But I totally agree with you that we need yeah. somebody smart. There are a lot of smart lawyers, including Musha. A lot of professors. <laughs> some of them, you think you're smart, right? Eh? Oh, yeah, I know you're smart. Common sense. Yeah, You've got I, you want to common sense, okay? Yeah, we have got a lot yeah, of Zambian professors. A lot, you know. I will tell you, the guy, one of the guys who helped draft the Kenyan's constitution, is a Zambian. Right. Yeah. People yeah, don't, think, don't uh, they don't talk about that. So, so that this constitution, we need to get rid of a lot of lacunas. That's your language, yeah. Monsha. But there are a lot of things which are completely wrong in that constitution. We need to clean them up. But we not, don't need to clean it clean it up using a the political tools where you need to use common sense. Yeah, I uh, think uh, one, President there's... Lungu or, or President Hichilema, whoever wins in August, the people here on this show, they are saying that Naine Mpange no constitution, Pantu Mwafiwo to Empana constitution. Uh, wise man, not yes. Whichever, not, not whichever wins. HH is winning. Come, let come, sunshine. <laughs> Is winning. That is a fact. I and agree. Then, uh, I think. I think. Ms. Why, why I said that? Why I said that you should come and draft uh, a constitution for us is because uh, if you have seen the issue of doctors, where government has got no money to pay doctors, but as I'm talking to you right now, the MPs, former MPs, former ministers, ministers who failed to perform for the people of Zambia, two health ministers, they're getting their graduate. We need exactly. a constitution which will stop those members of parliament to get their graduate as long as the people who voted for them, they never benefited from what they, they were voted for. As long as that minister who were in that office, the people yeah. who, who, who we went for and work for them, he never performed like Saluti Rufia. Why Saluti Rufia can get a graduate? Meanwhile, he failed to perform his duty and doctors yeah. are complaining. So we need All people right. who go and petition them and say, no, 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 sir, your money is coming to us. They are, they are pensioners, given Lubinda, promised those people who worked for Zambia to say are going to be paid until given Lubinda leave office, they haven't been paid. So we need you, right. Comrade Musha, my lecture, to come to Zambia, give us a constitution which will support and benefit the people of Zambia. Thank you very no, much. Hey. No, 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 that's, that's understandable. Thank before you. Go, go anyway. Before he goes, you yeah. have raised a very, very important point, young man. Zambians can petition those ministers that you should return, you should return your gratuity because you did. How do you give gratuity to Bowman Lusa? <laughs> Imwe, well, are you gratuity? sure? Are, are we going to be arguing about that? No, no, no. What What is the gratuity for? When pensioners were not paid? When doctors have not been paid? When teachers are not employed, when students have no meal allowance, what gratuity? What is gratuity from Bowman Rusambo for? What is freedom <laughs> class way getting the gratuity for? Yeah. Hey, Mwandin, why, why, what, what is, is Tutu Angulube getting the gratuity for? 
At Nadutua, eh, imagine graduate Nadutua. Graduate Nadutua. Uh, graduate Nadutua. Graduate Nadutua. Graduate Nadutua. Graduate No. General, you say no. 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 Zambia should demand. Zambia should demand. The way they demanded the money for ministers who were in office, demand your graduate back. They never worked for you. Right. All right. Thank you, General. We've got to end here. Your last words, please. The last words is that um, oh, Zambia... General, these are not last words. They are not last words in the sense that you are still coming back, okay? The <laughs> words that we speak... Okay. Okay, last okay. words. For, for tonight, Zambians, we have 83 days or whatever days to go. Let's all prepare to get a new government of HH in power. I don't care what the outcome of the, the, the petition is going to be. I really don't care. If Mr. Lungu gets, wins the petition, let's beat him on the 12th, clean. If he, does, he loses the petition, sorry, PF, you might have to get a, a, a new, a, a new, a new can, a candidate. But so speaking to Mr. Lungu, because we are the only person left of, of PF government, release Nawa, Mubita Nawa, tomorrow. There's no need to control punishing him. There's no need. Thank you. Release Nawa because he's got the right under the constitution to be free. You cannot investigate somebody while he is in detention. No. It's, it's, it's evil right. and it makes me doubt whether Mr. Lungu is a Christian. You are not a Christian, Mr. Lungu. You are not. Because right. if you're a Christian like me, you would wake up in the morning and say, no, this is wrong. Yeah. What is wrong is wrong. Right. So that, that's what I can say, is that release Nawa tomorrow, and if you want to investigate that case, the video is there. Right. You can investigate, charge him, if you want to charge him, let him appear in court. But for the right. Zambian, do not be intimidated by Mr. Lungu and this group. In fact, I saw I saw Given Lubinda today, he was looking like a soaked chicken. Because he knows that PF is gone. How does how does it soaked chicken look, General? Because in Isham a soaked chicken. How does it look? In Kokoya Kumunzi. When it has it has rained a lot, the whole night it has rained. You mm. see that chicken looking soaked. That's how given Rubinda looked. Go, right. Given Rubinda was talking about HH and having demons. Who had rings from CR1? Who? Come on. So, right. so I know they are so scared. Zambians, this is your chance. You are the judges and you are the jury at the same time. So you do your job. Thank you. General, I think we'll be back sometime next week. Lovely. Let's, let's On Sunday, we have, we have a different kind of program where we'll be talking about the church and politics. I want to vent about my role because I'm a pastor, right? I'm a reverend. And so I do get all these questions about you as a reverend. Why do you call Lungu as Bashika Dongo? You are a reverend. And so, so I want to address some of those things. I have a pastor friend that we are going to bring, Pastor Lawrence Musunte. And I'm going to test my experience with him, uh, Pastor Lawrence. And so we are going to do that. And then next week again, we'll be back again with our usual, usual show, General. Thank you. We love you so much, General. And everybody loves you. They don't like me as much. For you, they are like general. Where is general? So, so thank you so much for your for your wisdom and uh, and uh, your discipline. Nephew Mulanda, general. Nephew Mulanda. Thank you so much, Musha. Have a good night and have a good weekend, Musha. And please keep in keep keep fit as usual. Yes, yes, I'm going to go for a run today. Today, that's why. Today, after this, I'll work for a little bit and then do maybe five or ten. Katwish. Apo makayana puila general. I'll try and run, run. Ero amaganga ya apua. Ndeke. Pandu te te amakaya apua. Iyo akonka ni apua. Fikutu wafua. Ero general, what I've seen is when you when you are dead, people forget. Ati, ati. Vae, vaa kushika. If you are president, vaa vika pona umbi. Ha, ha. Life must continue, General. That's why we shouldn't. Now, even if in Panopene, I'm a lawyer, eh? another one, my, one of my students are going to take over and they become my lawyers in my place. Chapo. So, can she we keep fit eh, in general? Let's keep fit. Let's keep fit. It will, it well, keep fit. That's what Thank is you. keeping me fit because I eat well and I also <laughs> exercise every day. 
And, uh, and then that you drink water. water. And I drink a lot of water and a lot of tea as well. A lot of green tea. That's what I, I drink. No, no, uh, no, 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 katubi, nothing. Katata. No, I, I cannot say no. I When I want a glass of wine once in a while, I, I can. But I, I don't do that. Right. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, General. Please stay on. Don't go. Thank you very much. This has been Elias Munsha with General, with Mr. Norman Chipakupaku, whom we call General a very accomplished man, passionate for Zambia with the history that backs up his story. Uh, so um, this has been uh, TV Bakwetu. Again, TV Bakwetu has a separate page, but you can also like that page as well. You can continue liking our Elias Musha page. Send us stars, buy stars from Facebook. It's a huge thing. Buy stars from Facebook, then send us some of those stars because we need those stars to continue uh, talking, okay? Thank you so much, and God bless you, and God bless our country. We are going to see you very soon. Good night, and good afternoon for those that are in a different time zone. Thank you very much.